I hope you're all well. So today we're going to create some print and cut sticker sheets. Hopefully you've all watched the previous videos on print and cut. If not, I will link to them below. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a shape and I'm going to grab a square and I'm going to make this the maximum size of print and cut. So I'm just going to unlock it and I'm going to make the width 6.75 inches and the height 9.25 inches as that's the maximum print and cut. If you're currently set to centimeters you can simply change the canvas, go to settings and you can change from metric which is centimeters to imperial which is inches. So I want my main background to be white and I'm going to put the lock back on. So this is going to be my main sticker sheet. I'm going to grab another shape and this time again a square. I'm going to unlock it, make it 6.75 in width and I'm going to make it say, I don't know, 4 inches in height. I'm going to change the fill to print and then next to it, you'll see we've got this black box. I'm going to select that, change the print type from color to pattern. And I've got some uploaded patterns that I've uploaded already and I will link to those in the description below. And the previous videos will show you how you bring those patterns in. So I'm going to select this one here. And I'm going to edit the pattern because I don't want these uh, repeat lines and I can edit it so that it goes larger or smaller so I like it like that I'm just going to leave it as it is and close that I'm going to bring it over to my sticker area I'm going to highlight both I'm going to align and center horizontally and then I'm going to align and align bottom. I'm then going to flatten it. So what this does is it will print it as you see it, but it will only cut that base rectangle. So it's not going to cut this away because I've flattened it to that base rectangle. I'm going to go into images and I've just typed in shape. I'm looking for one of those kind of splodges, but the wording sometimes can be hard to find them. Uh, splatter, splodge, uh, they all come up slightly different. So this is the one that I want. This is paint swipes. So you can try all different words uh, for the kind of effect you're looking for. And insert image. You'll see it's set to a cut. Now if I want to, I can simply change the colour and if I want an advanced colour, I can then do that. I think I'm going to have it as a pattern fill. So I'm going to change the fill to print and I'm then going to click on the colour block and change to pattern. And this is an uploaded pattern. There are loads of uh, pre-loaded ones in Design Space anyway, but I'm going to select this one and again I'll link to it in the description below. Again I'm going to edit pattern and I'm just going to change the scale and see where we end up and how I like it. I'm going to bring it up a bit, so let's do vertical 25 and see where we end up. And I'm going to get some text so if I come up to fonts, I'm going to get the font creepy, which I will link to below and just write my text. I'm going to align and center and just make it bigger so I can see it. In fact, do I want that one or do I want boo? Let's have a look. Hey Boo, let's click on that one. Oh, I quite like that. So we'll go with Hey Boo. I'm going to bring it over to this and just size it up. 
Now I'm going to have this flattened to my sticker sheet. So it's not going to cut it as a sticker, but it will print it. So if my Halloween overlaps this outline, it's not a problem. However, if I was going to have this as a cut sticker, I would want to make sure that my text was actually within that outline area. I am going to, I can do a pattern fill or I can change the color if I want to. And I could even actually ungroup this and have them all different colors, which is actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to advanced and ungroup to letters. And I can then select each letter and I can change the color slightly. Once I'm happy, I can then highlight and I can flatten. So I am flattening my text to this. I can bring this over to my sticker sheet, highlight both, align and center horizontally. And then because I don't want this as a sticker, I want it to be part of my back sheet. I'm going to flatten it to that back sheet. So it will print it as you see it, but the only thing it will currently cut is that rectangle. So now I'm going to create my stickers. So I've got a few that I'm going to bring in, and again, I'll link to that file. And then I've got a few that I'm going to use from Design Space. So I'm going to work with these first and then I'll get a few from Design Space. So this one I don't need to do anything to, I just make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to bring it over. Now it's already set to a print and cut, which is what I want it to be. So I don't need to change anything with this one. This one, if we zoom in, we'll see you've got a few or two circles there that are just individually on their own. So unless I put this to a shape, so I flatten it to say a circle, they're going to cut out individually and I don't want that. And I also don't want it added to a shape. So I cannot, or we cannot use our contour tool with print and cut. But what I can do is grab a shape and just grab a circle, make that circle so that it's nice and small and it just sits over the one we want to remove, highlight and slice. And that will actually remove that individual cut for me. Same again with this one, if I get a shape and a circle and I bring that over make sure it's not overlapping anything else, highlight and slice, I can then just delete that. My girl here, the only thing is there's this tiny small cut in there, because she's going to be quite small, it shouldn't be an issue, but it might catch slightly. So what I'm going to do to avoid this, so I'm just going to duplicate her. She's currently set to a print, so I'm going to come up to fill and select no fill, which will turn her to a cut. I can get my contour tool and hide all contours, and that will then make her a solid shape. If I change the color to white, I can bring it so it's over. I can align and center. I can click on the white arrange and send to back. I can then highlight and flatten. So I'm flattening her to that white background. And then I can size it up and bring it over to my sticker sheet. I don't need to do anything with this one. So again, I can just size it and bring it over. This one here, if I make it larger, if I leave it as it is, it's going to cut out all of these pieces and I don't want that. And also I want some text in there as well. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to change the duplicate to just a cut. So I'm going to come to fill and change it to no fill. I'm then going to select contour because it's now a cut. And if I want to, I can have it so I've only got certain, like the outside, for example. So if I hide all contours, but bring this one back, it will only be those outside areas that are solid. And then it will cut 
this inside bit but I actually want the whole thing solid because I want to add some text to it so I'm going to contour and either hide all contours or just remove that one in this case and I've then got the background I'm just going to have it as a solid white background arrange and center back draw around both of them align and center so if I get some text now and I start writing the text that I want I'm going to change that to a bold font and I'm just going to size it up so it sits in there and I'm actually going to pattern fill it so I'm going to come up to fill print click on that color box change it from color to pattern and if we edit pattern let's have it like that and then let's say I want an image in there as well if we go to images and I'm just going to search Halloween oh I like this one so let's insert again this is a cut but I don't want to change the colors I really like the colors so I'm just going to bring that so it sits in there and then I'm going to select everything and flatten and then I can size it and bring it over to my sticker sheet it's really important that you're flattening each of your stickers and then you're bringing them over to your sheet but you're not doing anything until you're happy with everything because I always play with the placement and the size and everything so I really like this one from design space we'll grab a few more from design space so this is currently set to a cut and we've got this background circle here so if I flatten it it will cut out the circle and then it will cut out the bits of the broom that are outside of the circle I don't think I want to change anything maybe change the color on this one slightly so if I click on it and I can change the color just a little bit but let's go to advanced and make that a bit lighter perfect and then highlight and flatten now this one here if it's really small I'm gonna struggle cutting the inside of that web and also some of the inside pieces of her hair so all I'm going to do is duplicate and for this one because there's lots of layers I'm simply going to weld it all together I'm then going to select my contour and hide all contours so that will then give me that solid back shape I can change it to a color let's change it to white if we select this one and arrange and center front bring this one over highlight both align and center I can then flatten if I want to and if I want to change the color on anything so let's say I want to change the green on the face slightly if I just click on the layers I can then change that color if I want to once I'm happy I simply highlight both the background layer and this these layers and I flatten And of course I can rotate things and change the size of them if I want to once I'm happy with the placement of everything all I'm going to do and of course each of these individual ones have got cut and print beside them I'm then going to highlight everything and attach them now if I flatten them to this shape what will happen is it will just print them and it will only cut out that rectangle if I want each of them cut out as individual stickers 
then I need to attach them to that flattened base. Design Space had a bit of a hissy fit on me, so I had to create a new sheet, which is absolutely fine. Just want to say, you'll see material size, it says letter. Don't worry about that. It's absolutely not a problem. Your printer knows that you're doing A4. Design Cut is going to print and cut to its maximum anyway. Like you don't need to worry about this at all. We can go to continue and I'm going to print out on two different sticker papers. I'm going to print out on the Cricut sticker paper and also the Evergreen Glossy as well, just to show you, because some people seem to think they have issues with the, the Cricut paper. I've never had an issue with it. I've never had to play with size settings or anything. So I'm going to send to printer. I've got my inkjet selected both these sticker papers are for inkjet you can find sticker papers for laser as well i want two copies because i'm doing two sheets i like to leave the bleed on now i always used to be a bleed off person because the bleed didn't look particularly nice now it's actually part of the the picture uh, and it looks lovely and so i have the bleed on because it just acts as a cut buffer if if my print and cut is slightly off there is an acceptable amount that it can be off so sometimes it can be perfect other times it's slightly out if it's really out then you may need to recalibrate your machine but slightly out Cricut see that as acceptable I like to have my system dialog on and I will explain why in a second I then select print it comes up with my printer settings and make sure I've got the right printer selected. I then go to preferences and you'll see you've got media type or it may say paper type. I always change mine from plain to photo paper and I always choose glossy plus. The reason being if I put anything other than paper in my printer it jams. So I find this setting, it allows me to use printable fabric, printable vinyl, all the printables really. So I always make sure that I change the setting. Also, I change the print quality from standard to high. Always make sure when you're loading your sticker paper into your printer that you know how your printer likes to be fed. So if we browse all materials, for my evergreen glossy, I search for copy and I actually use copy paper as my cut setting and for the Cricut printable sticker paper I use the search sticker and I can choose a sticker paper which has the Cricut logo next to it so these have now printed out so just to show you this is the evergreen glossy and this is the Cricut printable sticker paper. You'll notice the Cricut printable sticker paper is actually shorter and slightly wider. I have no issues in my printer at all. The only thing I sometimes have to do is move the guide uh, grip slightly, but I never have to play with settings or anything. So the letter size and the fact that it's slightly uh, shorter and slightly uh, wider it doesn't make any difference the stickers so the print and cut is still the same size because these are inkjet you do want to give them sort of five to ten minutes just to dry so you're not going to smudge anything and I also use my Cricut Brea to secure to the mat rather than scraping <laughs> I always turn my mat over and remove that way. 
and remove that outer so that I know where I'm trimming using my Cricut trimmer. I've then got my glossy and then my Cricut sticker paper and I can simply come in and remove my stickers.